Hello everyone, today we're going to be talking about Joseph Nathan King Oliver. King Oliver was born December 19th, 1881. He was a legendary jazz player and the man responsible for giving Louis Armstrong much of his game. Armstrong was quoted as saying, if not for Joe Oliver, jazz wouldn't be what it is today. Joe was born in Aben, Louisiana, but later moved to New Orleans. He mastered the cornet at a young age and began playing gigs in brass bands, most frequently in New Orleans' red light district called Storyville. Eventually, Storyville was shut down in 1918. Oliver then, married, took his wife and his stepdaughter to Chicago. After a few years in Chicago, his career began to pop and he formed King Oliver's Creole Band. It was around 1922 when Louis Armstrong, who he had previously trained in New Orleans, joined him in Chicago. Louis Armstrong played second cornet in his band. It was these Chicago years during the Roaring Twenties that Oliver made New Orleans-style jazz the forefront of American jazz. After these great years, unfortunately, the Great Depression took a toll on party culture as a whole. He formed several bands during this era, but they all fell apart. He also lost a lot of his wealth when banks were collapsing at the time. And by the late 1930s, he was living in a rooming house in Savannah, Georgia, where he passed on April 10th, 1938. King Oliver's most famous songs are Dipper Mouth Blues, Dr. Jazz, and Canal Street Blues, of which I think Dipper Mouth Blues is the best. He also pioneered the use of mutes while playing in cornets. They can also be used in trumpets and trombones. King Oliver is often overshadowed by his protege Louis Armstrong and Duke Ellington, to whom he lost his spot at the Cotton Club in New York. But here at the Black American Scholar Channel, we won't forget the legendary King Oliver.